Good morning, everyone. I'd like to deal with the question of apartments that are repeated um, on the floors of, say, a skyscraper, but using the cloud shared models. The typical workflow that an architect might use is to represent them as groups on a local area network and then to save them out as individual links later. That's not possible within BIM 360. But there is a way that you can achieve this, and I'd like to demonstrate this. First of all, what we have in front of us is a site model. It, the coordinates for it has been set. Over here you can see the um, survey beacon, and then zooming in on the topography, there we can see is the topography and the project base point, and then a building platform that represents where the building must go. If we look at the section, then we can see we've created levels 1, ground level 1, 2 and 3. So we might want to have the apartment on ground level, an apartment on level 1 and an apartment on level 2 and so forth up the building. We can't push coordinates in a cloud shared Revit file. So we have to use the acquire coordinates uh, method. The file that I have open now represents the final apartment type, I called it apartment type 1. And at the beginning of the process, it is necessary for each apartment link that will be displayed in the skyscraper, a copy must be made. So if you have, in my case, say uh, three of them, then you are going to need three copies of this file and if you have a hundred then you need to create a hundred copies so clearly a case to be made for automation in this regard the apartment doesn't need to be finished it just needs to have the right um, bounds that represents the apartment so it, the apartment doesn't need to be finished designed before you do this you can do this at the beginning eventually the coordinates will all sit within one apartment file. To create copies of this file, I'll save this out first into a temporary location and then cloud share it back into BIM 360 design collaboration. I'll save this as project. onto the desktop, into a temp folder, and I'll call that apartment type 1, level ground. So I save it onto the desktop, and then immediately after I go to the collaborate tab, and I say collaborate in cloud, And I save this as apartment type 1 level ground within the correct folder. Initiate. And you would do this for each of the instances of the apartment in the building. As soon as the file is created, we will then create a location and name it appropriately.
we go to the locations to the site we duplicate the internal and we rename that apartment type 1 level ground And then we set that to the current site. So this must be done for each of these files. And in the next blog, what we'll look at is what do we do with the topography model? And then later on, we will see what that looks like in the assembled um, representation of the skyscraper. But I hope you've enjoyed this short intro into the process remember to duplicate the apartment type and create a new site rename uh, to the appropriate in your case and then make that the current uh, site and then don't forget to synchronize your file until next time enjoy riveting <laughs>